like at least try and make it a home mm. i i can just imagine the echo in that place it's horrendous oh, okay. Okay. yeah <laughs> calligraph john's new mansion has been the talk of the town for a hot minute everyone online has had something to say a better part of last week that is from its size to its style some even saying it looks like a mall and let's not forget the debates about the furniture well, one of the people who's now jumped into the chat is Sean Andrew, the grandson of former president Mwai Kibaki. And let me tell you, Sean straight up thinks the echo in the mansion is horrendous. Do you look at the house? I don't like throwing shade on anything, but like, mm. you know, it's like a tremendous amount of space in that city group. And mm -hmm. even if you're going for the minimalist vibe, mm. like at least try and make it a home. Mm. I just imagine the echo in that place it's horrendous oh, okay, okay. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> you're looking at that as, a, as an architect or just as a as someone who loves as no as someone who's interested in architecture or uh, i was as uh, yeah like in, in general like uh, i'm interested in like interior design and mm. all forms of architecture but like it looked really cool. <laughs> now, here's the tea. There were rumors that Calligraph started off with a legit professional architect, but somewhere along the way, he decided to go with a cheaper option. And let's just say, the end result has people talking. Sean Andrew, though, is being very shown about it, claiming he's not throwing shade. But let's be real, the shade is shading. He went on to say if Calligraph had the money for such an investment, the least he could do is have access to professionals who will do the job right must be cold and anyway let me not get into it mm. because i don't like i don't <laughs> no, like throwing don't, shade or no, anything i don't think uh, we, we're throwing shade we're just uh, uh discussing it because uh Kali was on citizen yeah and he said that we should excuse him uh that he drink to grow up with these things so yeah. now that he's gotten money he's excited and he really wants to do all the things that he wanted to do before so but, also have, yeah i just think like someone with who's poured in that much investment into a place yeah should, uh, as in if you have that money have access to people who will do the job right mm. yeah it's not his fault i don't completely blame him yeah. like it's the people around him who didn't give him any guidance really. you already know our online detectives and keyboard warriors weren't going to let sean's comments slide some kenyans on instagram have branded him a rich kid who didn't get it but others kind of agree with him let's check out some of the comments Fancy Fingers says, Eko Nini, to which Anajibiwa Eko Dida. Nimrod says, he grew up in a room full of money. Kali grew up in a room full of hopes. Whatever Kali wants to do with his house should be his business. Because when he trusted the process, all y'all did was hate. Then he goes ahead to say, enjoy the fruit of his success in his own way. Like, let him do that. Another one says, with that cute face, whatever he says, I agree. And conquer Allah. And then... Bahati says, honesty is one thing and Weevil is one thing. Let's not confuse them. I think Sean is honest about what he's saying. And many of us here feel the same way, but we must stay in the good side in quotes. I second Sean, space is nice, but we need an architect. That's honesty, because for sure, there are even bigger houses. But design is all that matters. And lastly, Kimani says, Vito za matajiri huwezi ingilia. But let me be honest with you, regardless of the mansion's design, you have to respect Calligraph's hard work. This man didn't steal public funds to build his dream home, and that's a huge win in itself. What do you think? Is Sean Andrew making valid points, or is this rich kid energy? And for real, do you think the mansion is horrendous? Ame kotu sawa. Let us know in the comment section below. Before you bounce, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Plus, join our Telegram group for real-time news updates. The link is in the description box below. I'll catch you in the next one.